So this, so when you look at your electrical panel, you can see uh, different kinds of breakers. So uh, you have your main breaker. This feeds power. This is power coming in from the utility. So it's typically 100 amps, or it could be 1.5 or 200. And then you have your branch circuit breakers, and you'll have a lot of them. So typically, you'll have what we call a 30 amp two-pole breaker. So it takes up two full breaker spaces. So this can feed a dryer, for example, or an oven. So typically, you have typically a dryer is 30 amps, though. So so 30 amps and it's got two wires, two hot wires feeding a circuit and then next you'll see a 40 amp typically a 40 amp two pole, this typically feeds an oven so the 40 amp two pole, again two hot wires red and black and then now, then you'll have um, a single pole breaker like this one, so this one's a 20 amp single pole breaker so this has one hot wire so this could feed uh, receptacles or lighting uh, most receptacles in a house are 15 amps but you could also have a 20 amp now what started to happen is people ran out of space in their panels so electrical manufacturers invented what's called the tandem breaker or it's it has two circuit breakers in the space of one breaker so you can have on here two hot wires you can feed two separate circuits. So instead of having one 15 amp, I have two 15 amp circuits or two 20 amp circuits. Now, to comply with the new building code. So if you've got a wet location, then you need to have a GFCI breaker. So GFCI breaker uh, can be 15 or 20 amps, but these are for kitchens, washrooms, outdoor, and they protect the circuit. Now you'll see, oh it has two wires, but it's got one hot wire and one neutral. And the reason it's got a neutral is because um, it can measure the current difference and shut off if there's a if there's a short. And then you'll also see AFCI. So AFCI breakers are green and then we want to look for one that says combination AFCI. So GFCI protects against ground fault and AFCI protects against arc faults. Again it's got a hot and a neutral. And now these are these are about 10 bucks, 20 bucks, it's about 50 bucks, these are about 90 bucks. But when you buy one of these you want to make sure you buy one that's got uh, so if it's got a newer panel, there's some that have the neutral wire built in and then you have to take the wire and run it to your neutral bar and there's some that let you plug a neutral in. You want to get the ones that lets you plug a neutral right in because those are about half the price. And then, the bottom here, we have something interesting. Now what I should mention is all these breakers are 120 volts. so. You'll notice the main breaker is 100 is 120 volts, but it's two poles, so the breakers sort of alternate. So there's two phases in your panel: phase one, phase two, phase one, phase two, phase one, phase two. So a an oven or a dryer uses two phases. So it, the difference in voltage on the two wires is uh, 240 volts across the two phases. And um, that's why this has two poles, because it, wherever you put it, it takes power from both phases in your panel. Whereas a single phase breaker only takes power from one phase. Now, if you go down here, what ends up happening is uh, we're taking up two phases. So they said, can you make a spa a two pole space saver breaker? So can we have? A breaker like this with two poles in one space and the answer is no because because this breaker only can clamp on to a single phase in our panel it only clamps on to one one of the bars so it was no way the only way to do it is to put a two 
hole through space. But then somebody invented the space saving two hole breaker. And so what it is, as you can see, we've got a 30 two amp two pole. So this is uh, this is taking up two spaces, but we've got four breakers. So technically, so two pole that's on the two phases, first phase and second phase. And then we got two 15s, one on the top and one on the bottom. So this lets us add three circuits. So a, a 30 amp two pole two phase circuit for an oven, and then a 15 for something, another 15 for something. So this lets us take a space that had one circuit and turned into three circuits. So if you have any questions, please post a comment. Thank you.